Every great app starts the same way, as an idea scribbled on paper, or maybe just a thought in your head. The challenge has always been the same. How do you turn that idea into something real without spending weeks designing screens, tweaking layouts, and writing endless lines of code? Well, that's where things change. UX Pilot takes that raw idea, literally just your words, and transforms it into fully designed, interactive prototypes in minutes. Think about it. You describe your vision, and AI delivers ready-to-use designs with animations, clean layouts, and even the production code to back it up. This isn't just a time saver. It's a complete shift in how we approach design. Anyone can use it, whether you're a beginner who's never opened Figma before, or a developer who wants to speed up the workflow without losing quality. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to use UX Pilot step by step. Now, with no further delay, let's move into the tutorial. So this is UX Pilot's website. The first thing that you need to do is to click on the first link in the description box of this video, and that will bring you to this page. From here, just go ahead and sign up for an account and you can start using UX Pilot for free. Now, once you've signed in, this is basically your dashboard. So let's go ahead and create a brand new design file. The first thing we need to do is give our project a name. In my case, I'm gonna call it UI Design for an AI Habit Tracker. Right below that, you'll see another box where we can enter the page context. This is where we describe the overall look and feel of our design. Things like theme, colors, fonts, borders, and so on. Type in a simple but detailed description. Dark theme with a pure black background. Use gradients with the following colors across different UI elements. Add subtle spotlight effects for depth and apply glass morphism with transparent cards, soft blurs, and smooth shadows. Use a modern sans serif font, keeping the design minimal, elegant, and user-friendly. That's it. You'll also notice there's an enhanced prompt option if you want the AI to rewrite and polish your text. But in this case, our prompt is already clear and strong, so I'm just going to click the Create button. Immediately, you'll see an alert that says Page Loaded Successfully. Perfect. And now we can see our brand new design file right here. Let's open the file by simply clicking on it. Great. So this is where the magic happens. On the left section of the interface, we can first choose the use case. Here, you decide whether you want to generate a wireframe or a high fidelity design. For this tutorial, let's go with high fidelity. Right below that, you can either pick a design system or even import your own custom design system. To keep things simple, we'll just continue with the standard model. Next, we have the screen type. You can design for a mobile app or a desktop version. Let's set it to mobile. And now we move on to the most important part, the context. This is where we're going to write a text prompt that explains to the AI what our project is about, what its purpose is, and what features it should include. You also have the ability to upload a file like an image to use as a reference. And yes, there's also the prompt enhancer option if you want to polish your text. So I'll go ahead and add my fully detailed prompt that will guide the AI. If you ever get stuck writing one, here's a simple tip. Just chat with GPT and describe your app idea. Ask it to list the features, pages, and layouts your app should have, and then finish by saying something like, hey, I'm gonna use UX Pilot AI to generate this app. Please give me a fully detailed prompt that I can use so the AI can generate it for me. That's all you need to do. Now, right below the prompt box, we have two important options, Deep Design, which helps create richer layouts, and Max, which, when combined with Deep Design, produces larger and more detailed results. Finally, we need to add the flow of screens for the app. You can either add them manually by providing a prompt for each page of your website or app, or you can use the Autoflow option. Autoflow is super helpful. It analyzes your main prompt and automatically generates a flow of screens based on the pages your app should have. And in just a few seconds, it has generated seven different pages for us. One of them is the main dashboard, which is the core page of the app. From here, you can rearrange the order of the pages, remove ones you don't need, add new flows, or even change the prompt details for each page individually. At the very bottom, you'll notice the generation cost, so you'll want to make sure you have enough tokens available. Once everything looks good, just go ahead and click the Generate button. The generation process usually takes about a minute, then your design will be ready. And finally, it's done generating. 
Just look at this design. It's incredible that AI can produce such a detailed, polished layout from nothing more than a single prompt. Now here's the exciting part. If you select one of these pages and enter preview mode, you'll see that these aren't just static mockups. They're fully interactive prototypes, complete with animations and hover effects. This is our home page, and as you can see, it already looks very refined. The colors, the layout, the structure, everything feels modern and well thought out. Of course, there may be a few small adjustments you'll want to make, but as a starting point, this is excellent foundation. At the top, we have an option called All Designs. From here, we can review the rest of the pages generated for us. Here's the portfolio and the settings page. Look great, but I can already spot a small alignment issue with the toggle buttons. That's the kind of detail you'll probably want to refine manually. Next up, the login and sign up page. Here, the background color doesn't quite match the rest of the app's theme. In just a moment, I'll show you exactly how to fix that using UX Pilot's built in editing tools. Let's move on to the habit list page. the onboarding page, and the add new habit page. Notice how some icons are overlapping the container. Again, these are minor issues, and I'll demonstrate how easily you can correct them inside the editor. And this is what makes UX Pilot so powerful. It doesn't just give you static screens. Most of these elements are fully interactive, which means you're not just looking at designs, you're previewing how your app could actually behave. Another useful feature is the ability to review the prompt history for each screen, providing clear documentation and traceability throughout your project. But here's the best part. UX Pilot also provides the code for every single page it generates. That means as a developer, you can copy the code directly, take it into your own editor, and continue building. This combination of AI-powered design interactivity, and ready-to-use code makes UX Pilot an incredibly powerful tool, not just for designers, but for developers who want to move fast and still maintain professional quality results. Now it's time to test the editing option and see how it works. If you want to make changes to a page, simply select the page and then click on this pencil icon. Here we have three editing options. The first one is global edit. This is for when you want to make changes to the entire screen. The second one is section edit. That's for when you want to update a specific element or section. And the last one is text edit, which lets you directly target any text on the screen and change its content. All right, let's try it out. For this sign up or login page, we want to update the background color so it matches the other pages. So we'll choose global edit. After selecting it, a small editor window pops up. Inside, we have an input box where we can type in our prompt and explain exactly what changes we want. For example, let's type, please update the UI design by changing the background of this page to black. Now let's hit generate and wait a few seconds. Okay, it looks like the change didn't work as expected. Maybe the problem isn't the background itself, but rather a spotlight effect that's covering the entire screen. Let's try again. This time we'll enter the prompt, remove the spotlight effect. And there we go. The issue wasn't the background color after all, it was the spotlight effect. Next, let's see how section edit works. We need to fix an overlapping issue here with the icons. In this case, we'll select section edit and then target the specific section we want to update. Now we just enter our prompt. Fix the UI so all icons stay fully inside the container without overlapping outside. Let's hit Generate. Now the generation is complete. The elements are no longer outside the container, but the layout still isn't perfect. It seems we either need to reduce the icon size or remove one of the vertical columns. Let's run another prompt and specify that adjustment. So let's refine our prompt. Remove one vertical column of icons and add consistent horizontal and vertical spacing so elements no longer overlap.
And yes, this time it works perfectly. The layout looks clean, everything is aligned, and the overlapping is gone. So as you can see, this tool is extremely powerful and helpful, especially for non-technical people. It allows you to edit entire pages, sections, or even individual text as easily as chatting with a friend. You can also import the design into Figma or FigJam for further editing. Now to import the design into Figma, just select the screen you want to export and click on the option at the top that says Save to Figma. To make this work, you'll first need to have the UX Pilot plugin installed in Figma. I'll link the page for that down in the description. Once you're on that page, click the Try It button and you'll be able to open it either in Figma or FigJam. I'll go ahead and open the plugin inside a new Figma file. Once it loads, run the plugin and from there, simply select Retrieve in Figma. Here we can see the page we saved to Figma from UX Pilot. Uh, simply go ahead and select this page. And just like that, our design is now imported from UX Pilot into Figma. You may notice a few small differences, but overall the design is almost identical. The best part is you now have full access to every single element, which means you can make any adjustments you want directly inside Figma. The UX Pilot plugin also includes other useful features. For example, you can export designs directly to the web or use the diagram tool to generate sitemaps and flowcharts for your project. This works based on the pages you've selected or by writing a custom prompt. Keep in mind that this option is only available inside FigJam. Next, you'll see review workshops and then AI tools. This is especially powerful. It lets you instantly generate technical requirements for any element. Here's how it works. Just select a page or multiple pages, type in your request, for example, provide the technical requirements and hit send. In seconds, it gives you a sticky note with a fully detailed set of requirements. And you're not limited to one request. You can ask for technical details about any element in your design. You can also copy and paste these notes directly into FigJam, and from there, keep building out your documentation. Since you can bring your designs into Figma so easily, you can now connect them with other AI-powered tools like Lovable, Cursor, or Zoer to push your project even further and actually bring the design to life. I hope this walkthrough helps you see just how powerful UX Pilot really is. So go ahead, click the first link in the description to try this powerful tool for free and see how much you can achieve in just a few clicks. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you have any questions or if you get stuck while using this tool, leave a comment below and let me know. I'll be back soon with another exciting tutorial. Until then, keep building and keep learning.